Welcome back to Browns Hatch after the opening Bennett's British Superbike Championship race of the weekend. And back on the podium for Honda Racing UK is Andrew Irwin. Andrew, a great race from you. You had to fight your way to be in the podium fight. And then there was a four-way battle between you and Tommy and Christian and, and Glenn as well. Talk us through it and how you've progressed to that stage this, at this point of the weekend. Please. Yeah, honestly, uh, I got a decent start, an okay start. And then I got shuffled back a little bit. I think Leon and Christian can pass me. And then I sort of settled into rhythm and thought, oh, this is maybe all that I've got. But I would, was quite consistent. I was able to keep going and didn't look really at the pit board until we had 10 to go. And I, I was starting to have some moments and I thought, I don't care. I'm going to keep having the moments and keep pushing on. And honestly, I felt okay. I felt uh, until the last three or four laps, then we had quite a big drop with the tower, like the second drop, really. So we need to work on that for tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I feel good. We came from 11th to 3rd. It's probably the first podium that I've had that I've been able to come through the field to pass, have a little bit of aggression. And, uh, yeah, so it's nice to see that starting to come back again. And, you know, the team's done a fantastic job. And I think that we're making steps forward. It shows where the fire blade is at the minute. They have two bikes on the podium. And, uh, yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. Try to take another step. And, uh, you know, Ram was in a different league today. So tomorrow it will be hard to find nine seconds. But uh, we'll keep trying. Congratulations, Andy. Thank you. And making it a Honda 2-3 on the podium, it's Tommy Bridewell. Tommy, it's a hard day for you today, understandably, but you really showed some real fight in that race and it was a great battle. Talk us through it and how you feel to be back on the podium in second today, please. Yeah, um, strong race for definite on, on a day like today is always, is always tough. Um, you probably don't realise, you know, weirdly I, I wake up yesterday and I feel fine and then I wake up today and... It's it's a tough it's tough. So um, yeah, I I didn't feel it the races today um, until the race started, and then I I started to feel like I knew what I was doing. So um, I felt I felt okay on the bike. There's some real clear areas where we're weak, um, and to be honest, Ryan Ryan done the right thing. Um, to be fair, the the Honda and the Yamaha is in some areas are quite similar um but if you can escape you can let the bike ride how it wants to be ridden so ryan done a cracking job got out front disappeared um i had a, a, a dig it trying to catch him in a few laps i thought he's not pulling away anymore um and i'm not making excuses but i've been real rough the past couple of days and, and it was all of my energy to to get through the 20 laps so when i started battling back with glenn and then christian come past me i could see where their bikes were visibly so much faster in a straight, but I was so much faster on braking and and, in, and around the corners. So I knew with uh, the right amount of laps to go, if I could get back in front of them guys, um, I would be able to to just gap them enough through the corners to to you know not get past down the straight. Uh, so it, it, the plan worked, and then um, honestly, real tough to then come over the line and see see my teammate in in third. So. Uh, yeah, really, really tough for Andrew as well because I, I've seen the progress he's been making of recent and um, I think obviously I should should definitely be worried for sure, but he's he's such a nice kid um, and he deserves he deserves the success that he's getting and it's nice to see um, to see him growing as well. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. And an incredible race winning performance for OMG Gorilla Racing Yamaha here at Brands Hatch today. Ryan, you started off with being on the Omlegato pole position for the race, you said you really wanted to just get away at the front, concentrate on your own race. That was an incredible performance. Tell us how you did it, please. Yeah, amazing race, amazing start, um, amazing weekend, really. Um, so, yeah, thanks again to the OMG Gorilla Racing Yamaha. They've, uh, we've had a couple of bad rounds now and um, some of our own fault and some out of our control. So uh, thanks to their belief in me, you know, first of all, they've believed in what I've been saying about the bike and stuff. And uh, we've made considerable changes for this round. Um, so yeah, really, you know, great cracking job to those boys. They work so hard and um, I just want to deliver what I know is possible and what everyone deserves, you know. So uh, we did that today, got out front, uh, set some really good lap times. You know, my first flying lap, I think it was low, low 25. Um, and yeah, I believe I was setting the fastest laps of the race quite often. So um, I just tried to keep that pace. Um, I got in a rhythm, I was hitting my markers and the bike was hitting the apexes, you know, where I was braking. And I was thinking, right, we got, we're in sync. Um, so I just, uh, I used my head, I kept fully focused. Um, didn't really slow down much. Um, I backed off a tiny bit in a couple of areas where it was a little bit closer to the limit, um, just to be a little bit safe. Um, but yeah, really happy to be in the 25s pretty much every lap of the race um, and low 25s for most of it. Um, I believe if uh, we had someone pushing us, we would have uh, been able to go a bit quicker as well. 
Were you surprised with how that pace came today? Um, a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's always one of them. The first round of the season is always a little bit of a slower pace um, for some reason. And then the last round, everybody seems to step it up a little bit. I know the cooler conditions, definitely you get more grip. Um, but, you know, I've been watching the races back from the end of the year here last year. And I've been telling myself, there's absolutely no reason why I can't be fast at this first round. You know, I've ridden around this track at the end of last year and I've done 24s, you know. Um, so to get close to that um, is, is really, really good, you know. I um, battled for the podium here last year and on the second from last lap, I set the fastest lap, which was 25.7. Um, so I was, I was below that lap time near enough every lap of the race and was, did a 20, 25 flat, I think it was my fastest lap. So the improvement to this time last year is incredible. Um, and that's just down to a load of hard work from me and the team and um, yeah, really showing people what we can do. And it's just really nice to, to be back at the front and doing what we should do after these bad couple of rounds. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you very much. Cheers for everyone.